Distinguished ladies and gentlemen, Alexander Laskowski, the spokesman for the 18th Friedrich Chopin International Piano Competition in Warsaw. Welcome very cordially to the conference before the grand competition. The slogan promoting this edition is talent is only the beginning. Distinguished Mr. Prime Minister, distinguished minister, distinguished ladies and gentlemen, directors, please let me start from thanking the Royal Castle for hosting us. And I'm thanking Professor Wojciech Falkowski, the director of the castle. Let me start from welcoming Professor Katarzyna Popova Zydroń, the chair of the jury of the 18th Chopin competition. Welcome, Professor. May I cordially welcome all the participants of this press conference, the Minister of uh, Culture, National uh, Heritage and Sport, and Deputy President of the Council of Ministers, Mr. Piotr Gliński, Mr. Wojciech Kolarski, Secretary of State in the Chancellery of the President of the Republic of Poland, Mr. Mateusz Matyszkowicz, member of board of TVP. Ms. Małgorzata Marłaszko-Stasiewicz, director of Polish Radio 2. Professor Marcin Gmis, director of Radio Chopin. Ms. Marta Poślad, representative of Google Polska. Ms. Barbara Schabowska, Director of Adam Mickiewicz Institute. Mr. Jan Szewczak, Member of Board for Financial Affairs at PKN Orlen. Mr. Olgierd Cieśnik, President of Totalizator Sportowy, Polish Lottery. Ms. Beata Kozłowska-Hyła, President of PZU. Mr. Andrzej Kozłowski, President of Emitel. 
And last but not least, may I very warmly welcome Stanisław Leszczyński, plenipotentiary of the director of the Institute for Artistic Affairs. And Dr. Artur Szklener, director of the Chopin Institute, and at the same time, the director of the competition. May I welcome most cordially all of you, ladies and gentlemen, thanking for coming here in such a great number. It is a reason to enjoy. May I now ask Mr. Wojciech Kolarski, Secretary of State and the Chancellor of President of the Republic of Poland, to take the floor as first. Distinguished Prime Minister, Directors, Chair, Professors, and all distinguished guests, it is a great honor for me to represent here today in this place the patron of the 18th Chopin International Piano Competition. The patronage of the President of the Republic of Poland has had a long tradition. We can say that it reaches the earliest days of the competition. Professor Jerzy Żurawlew turned to President Ignacy Mościcki asking him for the patronage to emphasize the significance of the first original competition in 1927. And that was the beginning. The patronage of the President of the Republic of Poland shows that this is an event of state significance, very important for our Polish culture, but also through this patronage, it shows how important it is for all of us. Ladies and gentlemen, I have the pleasure to inform you that this year, as we are celebrating the centenary of independence of the Republic of Poland, this patronage is of special character. This is the national patronage of the President of the Republic of Poland on the centenary of regaining independence. May I also inform you, ladies and gentlemen, that for the winner of the first prize in this competition, the President of the Republic of Poland also funded a pecuniary prize, 40,000 euro. And this prize also has a particular significance, as this is the only pecuniary prize that is funded by the President of the Republic of Poland. Distinguished ladies and gentlemen, can I just add one more point to my address? The President and First Lady will host the winners and members of the jury in the Presidential Palace in the place where on the 24th February 1918 during a charitable concert organized in what at the time was the Rajivil Palace by the Warsaw Charitable uh, Foundation. His, uh, competition, first competition. That was the year it will be precisely in the place where this great career started, where the star of Frédéric Chopin shone bright for the first time. May I now pass to all the participants, to all the young pianists, Information that the president keeps his fingers crossed for your success. And I would like to pass the president's respect to all the members of a jury, to the chair of that jury present here with us. Thank you very much. May I now ask Piotr Glinski, Minister of Culture, National Heritage and Sport, Deputy President of the Council of Ministers. Pres Mr. Prime Minister. Ladies and gentlemen, it is a great festival for us. It is an opportunity for us to thank all those who have organized these competitions for many years, and especially that this year this competition is being organized uh, in this difficult pandemic reality. So my special thanks uh, go goes to uh, of the jury of the competition and all the musicologists that have supported this competition for years. I would also like to thank the director of the Chopin Institute and 
all of you gathered in this room, the representatives of the media, the ad. It is all thanks to you that this competition is being held. The competition is extremely popular. A couple of days ago, I saw the uh, Polish ambassador to Japan and, well, he's been involved in this competition for the past two years. Well, he's an expert in Japanese studies and, well, he uh, told me that competition, but after all, definitely Chopin will be the winner, called, called uh, the most important for Polish identity. So thank you again, ladies and gentlemen. I wish you all uh, success, many memorable experiences, artistic and musical experiences. for your kind attention. Thank you, Mr. Prime Minister, for this ending. Uh, that was actually before the coda, because the coda is related to this beautiful uh, machine that we have here uh, in the center of this hall. Let me now ask uh, Mr. Schlener uh, to take the floor. Sorry, Mr. Prime Minister, we cannot promise that the Japanese will win the competition, but we will make sure that it is the best pianist who wins the competition. Ladies and gentlemen, last time we saw each other, it was just on the eve of the pandemic wave. In the briefest of a brief, I'll tell you what our plans are. First of all, we organized the preliminary in July this year. The standard was very high, and I believe that Madam Professor will speak about it. As many as 87 uh, people um, were uh, qualified for the uh, audition. We had a record high number of uh, people who uh, applied uh, to the competition and the preliminary was listened to uh, by um, listeners from all over the world for over four million times. All the competitors, and it is actually a great success of us, the organizers of this uh, competition, and also the ministries, different public services in our country, 87 pianists uh, registered for the competition, so all of them should perform. When it comes to the jury of the competition, uh, because Nelson Freire uh, is ill, Marta Argerich decided to stay with him, and she won't be part of the jury of the comp competition, but we asked uh, another uh, the winner of the 1965 competition to replace her. We will have Katarzyna Popova Zedron, Dmitry Alekseyev, Sachen, Tai Song Dan, Akiko Ebi, Adam Harasiewicz, Krzysztof Jabłoński, Kevin Kenner, Artur Morejla Lima, Janusz Olejniczak, Piotr Paleczny, Ewa Pobłocka, John Ring, Wojciech Świtała, Dina Jofi, Filipe Giusiano, Nelson Gerner. The inaugural concert, the opening concert, will be a symbolic meeting of the generations. As many as five competition winners will meet on the stage. This will be Dank Taikson, the winner of the 1980 edition, Kevin Kenner, 1990, Philip Giusiano, 1995, Juliana Advieva. 20, winner of uh, the last edition of the competition. The program will be um, focused on chamber music. This will be Robert Schumann, the piano quintet in E flat major, Johann Sebastian Bach, uh, the concerto for four pianos in A minor, and Ludwig van Beethoven, conducted by Andrzej Borejko. Ladies and gentlemen, the competition has already started at the Warsaw Philharmonic. Um, they uh, choose the uh, pianos, they've done it since yesterday. 
and today we will witness a moment for the competition because this uh, drawing machine will draw the letter and we will know the name of the first page of the competition. This competition is being held during the pandemic. Therefore, since the very beginning, since the preliminary until today, we want to make sure that the competition zone is free of the coronavirus. Uh, we haven't had any cases uh, so far. We test uh, the um, competitors, the organizers. As far as the audience is concerned, less than 1% of uh, the listeners are people who haven't been vaccinated. Therefore, it is very likely that all the members of the audience will have COVID uh, passports. Thank you very much to all those who have contributed to the organization of this competition. Let me thank uh, the chair of uh, the competition jury for her support. And let me refer to the spot from which this press conference started. It's actually a message to all those for whom this competition is being organized and about whom this uh, competition is. Well, it's about the pianists who've spent all their lives to make our lives more beautiful and better. Thank you very much. Thank you, Director. Let me now ask the chair of the competition jury to take the floor, Professor Katarzyna popova Zitroni. Distinguished ladies and gentlemen, again, I've been surprised. Nobody told me that I would be everything suggests that in two days we will be witnessing the competition. Uh, there is no other competition like that. And this is a real dream. This is a dream of all the young pianists. They start to play the piano with that idea in mind already. One day I will perform at the Chopin competition. This happens to few. In the beginning there is the talent. Talent sometimes greater, sometimes not greater. And then there is plenty of work. In July we finally waited for the participants and they were here. So that was a successful wait. We had more than 180 participants and their level was absolutely unheard of. Nothing like that has ever happened before. I believe that you could make two Chopin competitions in October of the people from whom we elect group for one. So we will have now a fascinating period of fortnight, fascinating relations with critics, with the media, and I assume that there will be great passion stirred and this only adds to the charm and to the beauty of this event. Moreover, there is a great interest in cultural and musical world I'm really floating up in the clouds of that joy. And I hope that we will all have a beautiful time in October. This is my wish to all of you, and it would be best now to learn first how the competition reaches the world as a media information. May I ask the uh, director of Polish radio to Ms. Mawaszko Stasiewicz. Distinguished prime minister, distinguished minister, distinguished ladies and gentlemen, on the 2nd of October, we start writing the history of the competition again, but also the history of Polish radio. As beginning with 1927, we have been long lastingly here. And this is something that every radio person loves. We award uh, this prize. Of course, it is awarded by the jury, but it is presented by the board of the Polish radio. It's an honor and a great pride. It is presented by the board of the Polish radio. It's an honor and a great pride, but it's to be here to help and to reach out. As you can guess, the history of this competition is also the history of development of technology, reaching the audience in various manners. And this year, 
together with the Polish TV. If you know people ask you what the public media are for, of course, to be, to expand, to reach. Our ambition tell you that uh, there is plenty of involvement on behalf of Polish radio too, but all the Polish radios. Secondly, Radio Chopin, and of course, radios one, two, three, four, and the Radio for Children, as well as uh, the website of the Polish radio. All the units of the Polish radio, to a different degree, will be working, will be busy with the Chopin competition. It's all available on our website that there are going to be no breaks in the competition. We play to you, we broadcast for you all the auditions also on the 17th of October and the traditional performance of Mozart's Requiem that in the intermissions between the stages and between. So the competition will be present in the Polish radio every day and also by night to those who cannot listen live, all the auditions will be rebroadcasted just after they take place. So we cast out that huge net and we are going to take the drag into it, all those who are waiting for that competition, because we were waiting as well. Yeah, that now in 2021, we will be here at the Chopin competition and we will try to listen to that heartbeat of the world which Chopin set up. The Polish TV is proud to be a co-organizer. We'd like to thank the Chopin Institute for this option to cooperate, for magnificent cooperation. We thank the Polish radio, especially Channel 2, because we are going to broadcast together. May I now say that Polish TV will try to catch up with the radio and offer the top quality of the sound, especially for the Chopin competition. We will be using Dolby Atmos, the top possible sound quality for our viewers, for TV viewers, for those who are going to follow Kultura 2, Culture 2 uh, channel for the first time ever, 4K image quality. Day in, day out, it will be on TVP Cultura together. And this way, contribute to the promotion of Chopin's music all over the world. After the many difficult months for the world of arts, I believe we all long for contact with culture. Musicians wish to stand on the Philharmonic stages again, and we, music aficionados, can't wait for beautiful uh, music uh, resound in concert halls. Therefore, we're all waiting for this 18th Chopin competition. Culture has always gone across borders. However, during the pandemic, uh, it uh, had obstacles in the form of closed concert halls and all of us uh, stuck at home. But technology showed that culture could overcome these difficulties and reach vast audiences. It was YouTube that during the pandemic became a virtual concert hall. Artists a broadcast, broadcast chamber uh, music from their homes. They recorded new music. So uh, diff different festivals also found their home uh, at YouTube. And we also had, for example, the Andrea Bocelli's uh, Easter uh, concerto that was broadcast from by us from the uh, empty um, cathedral in Milan. Well, we are back to normality, and therefore YouTube uh, may become an even greater channel where music will resound. Therefore, we are very pleased with the fact that. All the concerts, all the auditions will be streamed live on uh, the um, Chopin Competition YouTube uh, channel. We participated with the Institute six years ago during uh, the uh, last edition of the competition and then people could watch competitors live and uh, 
listen to the uh, concerts. We also remember the words of the first prize winner of the uh, competition who after the concert said I don't remember how I played it I will have to check it again on YouTube now we already have a record audience uh, of the preliminary uh, round and uh, people spent over one million of hours uh, listening to our live uh, broadcasts and the uh, preliminary was watched for 4.5 million times. So the internet helped us to work, to study, but also to be in touch with culture. So culture and technology, they now create new forms of our participation in art. Now, this technology, YouTube, will let millions of people from all over the world listen to Chopin's music, people who cannot be here on site at the Warsaw Philharmonic Concert Hall. They will be very close this way to Polish uh, culture. Therefore, I recommended that you subscribe the Chopin Competition YouTube channel and we are very pleased with the fact that Polish culture will be listened to in millions of homes around the world. Thank you very much. Ladies and gentlemen, now it's time that we draw. Well, let me explain it to you because the journalist asked about it very many times. Auditions go alphabetically, but they will traditionally start with a letter that now will be drawn. The drawing, as a rule, was uh, done in the presence of all the participants. That was a great day for them. The first, sometimes the only meeting in such a great number. As in COVID pandemic time, we care for them. We couldn't invite them all to one place. They are with us only online. We must have made sure that nothing bad happens to them. Partner of the competition, Totalizator Sportowy Polish National Lottery, 65 this year, gave it to us. As far as I remember, this is a historical machine from the second half of the 1960s. Can I ask? Prime Minister, Professor Piotr Gliński, to come here. Uh, Director Artur Szklener will set this machine in motion so that you see that it all is turning. They're twisting and turning and mingling. Mm, sorry, sorry, we can't have the jury. Jury cannot put the even finger into it. So can we invite Mr. Prime Minister? That's a machine from 1966, so it's only a bit younger than the moment when Martha Argerich won. And uh, one of the winners was Artur Moreira Lima. Well, we have some noise, some things are moving. Well, I believe that this is the centrifugal force. Now we must open it, we believe we must position it. The seal has been removed, the machine is open, and now Prime Minister's hand goes in and could you please open? This is a special cap, please open it, and there is a letter inside. A moment's impatience. I'm trying to spy on it. And the letter is M. The letter is M. And this is how we know who is going to be the first. The first is going to be a representative of China, Xuani Mao, if I know my Chinese well. She is Xuani Mao. I mentioned that we cannot be here together with all the participants. That's understandable. But this doesn't mean that we cannot present the participants to you, that we cannot get to know them all. I hope that we are ready for our visiting cards.
name is Ayumi Kobayashi. I'm Aristo Shan. My name is Alexander Gajia. My name is Arseni Moon. My name is Paul Zhang. I'm Bruce Zhao Yilu. Hello, I'm Eric Kuo. I'm Gergi Sasokins. I'm Hayato Sumino. Jin Dobre. Nazwam Shen Hyuk Li. My name is JJ Bui. This is Jay Yun Li. My name is Jana Ping. Hello, this is Jin Yong Park. My name is Stefan Che. Hello, my name is San Jira Gan. Hi, my name is Yang Yang Ran. Always knew I wanted to do this. It's always been a dream of mine to play for the Shuang Piano Competition. With the piano, I could uh, produce any sound. Kim is Lam Chopin. Taki przewodnik duchowy. It's my first adult international competition. La differenza che vedo tra il concorso Chopin e altri concorsi, soprattutto nell'atmosfera che c'è intorno al concorso. Hello, my name is Suyan Kim. I am Su Yu Su. My name is Talon Smith. My name is Victoria Wang. My name is Xiao Xiang Li. My name is Ilan. My name is Yuan Fan Yang. My name is Yu Chong Wu. My name is Zi Zhou Zhou. My name is Zi Tong Wang. So I choose the piano as my instrument. I choose the piano as my instrument. Mi chiamo Michelle Candotti, sindo mi adesso. Mi chiamo Enrico Toimas. Mi chiamo Tia Shun Shun. Mi chiamo Xie Wei Ting. Mi chiamo Mao Xuan Yi. Mi chiamo Chen Xuan Hong. Mi chiamo Ni Hong Gara Kimashita, Furu Miyasuko Desu. Mi chiamo Hou Yifan. Mi chiamo Mei Peng. Mi chiamo... No forte piano è tutto ciò. Mi chiamo Shima Teus Kshuzhovski. Takeda Rikono Desu. Ni Hong Gara Kimashita, Hara Saoya Desu. Mi chiamo Mas Shun Shito. Mi chiamo Shito Mashmaru, mi rappresento il Polska. Nazywam się Zuzana Pietrzak i pochodzę z Polski. Ja zawód Anastasia Jeśko. Zdrastujcie, mnie ja zawód Andrzej Zienien. Nazywam się Andrzej Wierciński, reprezentuję kraj Polski. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm very pleased that the Institute is one of the partners of this event. Very many important things have been said about the competition, where the role of the Adam Mickiewicz Institute, role of the Adam Mickiewicz Institute um, takes place, because we will reach uh, television studios, uh, radios, uh, different media abroad, and we will also uh, inform uh, different uh, medias in Poland about the competition. We are very pleased that we ha will have very many uh, uh, periodicals and uh, television and radio stations. Uh, member of the Board for Financial Affairs of PKN. Member of the Board for Financial Affairs of PKN Orlen. Ladies and gentlemen, a warm welcome to you. Well, well, uh, this is where uh, the Center of Culture, uh, this is where uh, the Center of Culture is uh, now today. Um, we see such vulgarity around us, um, ugliness, but thanks to this music, we want to live, and as James Bond says, it's not time to die. After all, we live in the time of the pandemic and we saw death around us. Therefore, I'm very pleased with the fact that we will witness music, concerts, and that we will witness events that will be an expression of Polish spirit. Thank you very much. Let me now ask Olgier Cieślik, the president of Totalizator Sportowy, to take the floor. And let me also thank you for this uh, lottery machine. Mr. Prime Minister, Mr. Minister, ladies and gentlemen. Well, currently we have a much um, more modern technology than this uh, lottery machine here, but I believe that uh, it all happened at a very high uh, level. We had this drawing commission here and we actually confirm the result of the drawing, the letter M. Now, Totalizator Sportowy together with the, is together with the Chopin Institute for many years. Uh, we have organized very many festivals and competitions, the Chopin and his Europe Festival. We are also a partner of uh, Chopin um, Museum and also the birthplace of Frederick Chopin in Zelazowa Wola. Every year we allocate funds for supporting culture in Poland, but we are also members of valuable partnerships. And therefore we are 
even more pleased with the fact that as part of the 65th anniversary of Totalizator Sportowy, we can be part of this international feast of pianism. We would like to wish all the competitors, all the participants of this competition and all the lovers of Chopin's music many great experiences. Thank you very much and let me now ask Beata Kozłowska, Hila, the president of PZU, to take the floor. Mr. Prime Minister, Mr. Minister, Madam Chair of the competition jury, directors, ladies and gentlemen, we are only two days apart from an exceptional event. It is an event that makes us stop in our uh, everyday uh, actions and provides us with uh, emotions that stay with us uh, for the rest of our lives. After all, this is the impact of the Chopin competition. This is a cultural event number one in Poland and one of the biggest events uh, in the world. And it is also an event that uh, influences millions of people around the world. I believe PZU has to be involved in this event. Uh, we as the brand are 94 years old, so you could hear this name for the first time in 1927, so the year when the first Chopin competition took place in Warsaw. However, uh, our history is much longer. In 1803, this was the time when Chopin's uh, father hadn't known his wife yet and couldn't imagine uh, who his second son would become to the world in the future. Now the history of Pizedu has been part of Polish history since the very beginning. Knowing our history and being the largest uh, Polish insuring company and giving security to millions of people, our role is much greater than being just part of business circles. We actually create Polish community at different levels. We support uh, local communities, uh, health prevention, sport and also events that are of key importance and institutions that are of key importance for Polish culture. Our collaboration with the Chopin uh, Institute is only natural. Now, we support the National Museum, the Wajenki uh, Museum and also the Wolf's Uprising Museum and other museums. We were also uh, partners of the uh, Chopin and his Europe uh, Festival. We are obviously uh, the sponsor of the uh, 18th Chopin competition, but we will also support the activities of other organizations such as the uh, Chopin Museum in Warsaw and the birthplace of Frederick Chopin in Zelazowa, Wola and other institutions. Now this traditional five-year uh, uh, cycle of the competition uh, has been interrupted only by the um, most outrageous events in our history, the years of the Second World War and the years right after the Second World War and now the pandemic. I have an impression that the 18th com Chopin competition will be much more than just a great cultural event through which people will focus on uh, Chopin's great legacy. This will be the time of stability, hope and joy. Therefore, I would like to wish 
all the organizers of the competition and all those involved in the organization of this competition um, the best they can expect and also um, great memories from this competition. We also hope that new people will be inspired by this world of music. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. And may I now ask Andrzej Kozłowski, president of Emitel, to take the floor. Yes, please. Distinguished prime minister, minister, professor, director, ladies and gentlemen. Frédéric Chopin, in one of the letters he wrote to his family, wrote that there is no single homeland for music. There are no borders for music. And he was right, because generations have been captivated with his music, and it's been played all around the world. But there is this moment when the greatest talents, when the young pianists come together, and the focus of all Chopin lovers focuses on Poland, the homeland of Chopin. This time is about to come, and that's why we feel so excited. I'm so glad that Emitel can be a partner of the competition. We're very glad that, thanks to us, the signal broadcast by Polish radio and Polish public TV will be carrying the beautiful notes, the beautiful sounds of Chopin's music. I wish luck to all the participants and to the jury. I wish a hard time during your sessions because this will mean that the level of the competition is very high. And to all of us, that is to the viewers, to the listeners, to the audience, I wish unforgettable experiences. Thank you very much, Mr. President, ladies and gentlemen who are here, and dear remote watchers. This is how the official part of this press conference ends, but I may allow some questions. As we still have time, do we want questions from the floor? Is there anyone who would like to learn something more? Or were all the addresses so exhaustive that you feel fully satisfied? satisfied, which will be really a reason to enjoy for us. I feel a bit as if I were at an auction. I've got to count down to the end. No, I can't see any hands up, so I understand that everything is clear and that, like before, you will now be in touch with us and you will be following closely on the competition for the 18th time. Mr. Prime Minister, Mr. Minister, Directors, thank you very much. Presidents, thank you very much. Chair of the Jury, thank you very much. And hereby I officially finish and close this conference. Thank you very much. The conference is over. And here the English interpretation also ends.